Imagine hitting rewind on Earth's entire history. Would humans still evolved if we played it all again? Probably not. Life began over 3.5 billion years ago, but for the first billion, Earth was a violent mess battered by constant asteroid impacts. Eventually something stuck. Simple cells learned to survive by feeding on chemicals from deep sea hydrothermal vents. Then came one of the biggest breakthroughs in the history of biology, photosynthesis. This was the moment life figured out how to use sunlight as fuel, and in the process, it began releasing oxygen into the atmosphere. That oxygen transformed the planet, setting the stage for more complex life to evolve. Then, something even stranger happened. A single cell organism swallowed another one, and instead of breaking it down, they formed an alliance. That swallowed cell became a mitochondrion, the energy engine that still powers every cell in your body. That tiny, accidental partnership led to the eukaryotic cell. More organized, more powerful, and capable of building something far greater. But things didn't really take off until about 600 million years ago, during a period known as the Cambrian Explosion. In a relatively short time, life exploded into a stunning variety of forms. This wasn't just more species, it was a wave of completely new blueprints. Creatures with exoskeletons, backbones, tentacles, and even eyes. Fossils from a place called the Burgess Shale captured even the squishy, soft-bodied animals, including a strange creature called Pacaya, which had a nerve cord and eventually led to all vertebrates, including us. But it almost didn't happen. If Pacaya had gone extinct, and it almost did, the entire vertebrae line might have never evolved. That's the terrifying role of chance in evolution. If the history of life were a movie, and we replayed it from the beginning, there's almost no chance humans would ever show up again. Evolution is not a plan. It's a high-stakes roll of the dice. Over time, a few rare inventions pushed life forward. DNA allowed traits to be passed on with stability. Sex sped up variations by shuffling genes. Movement led animals to find food and avoid being eaten. And consciousness the awareness of self changed behavior forever. Even death itself became useful. It made room for new generations and allowed evolution to keep innovating. It's not just about how many species exist, it's also about how different they are. That's the difference between diversity, which refers to the number of species that exist, and disparity, which is the degree of difference between those species. Mass extinctions can wipe out not just diversity, but entire body plans which almost never come back. Now zoom out. Could life evolve somewhere else in the universe? Maybe. Simple bacteria? Probably. But intelligent, complex, tool-using civilizations like our own? The odds are stacked against it. The leap from microbes to mammals took billions of years and depended on a long change of low probability events. That's the heart of the rare earth hypothesis. The idea that while life may be common in the universe, intelligent life is vanishingly rare. And now, we're reshaping the planet ourselves. The last time Earth saw a spike in carbon dioxide this rapid was 252 million years ago, right before the worst mass extinction in history. Today, human-driven carbon dioxide levels are rising even faster. Climate change, rising temperatures, mass migrations, they're all part of the new evolutionary pressure we've created. So here we are, a species shaped by chance, standing on the edge of our own influence. Evolution didn't plan for us, but it gave us the tools. The question is, what do we do with them? Thank you, and see you in the next video.